Let's not try to make this too long. I know I had a comment before on one of my unboxing videos to say just open it already. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a Louis Vuitton unboxing video. It's very, very exciting and I'm sure that once I get to the actual unboxing, you will understand why it is so exciting. Uh, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, then please hit that subscribe button below and also hit the bell so you can get notifications when I upload new videos. I am trying to upload two videos a week, but I'm not going to assure something that I cannot guarantee I'll stick to. So generally you'll expect at least always one video a week, but I am going to do my best and try and do two. All right, so here I have my big Louis Vuitton shopping bag. And this purchase was actually from the online store in Australia, Louis Vuitton online, which is such a convenient thing to have. I wish all um, luxury retailers had online shopping. So here is uh, the normal, you'll expect in there is the receipt. And you also get in their uh, DHL return labels. For Australia, Louis Vuitton uses DHL for their deliveries. And if you need to do a return, they also use DHL as well. Okay, here we go. Let's not try to make this too long. I know I had a comment before on one of my unboxing videos to say just open it already. And I think they're a bit cranky that I talk too much. So um, to appease them, I'm going to try and unbox a little bit faster. I don't know if I really can go any faster because this is just me and I talk. And what you see is exactly what you get in real life. All right, here we go. You're welcome to guess before I go and open this up. Free to guess if you like. Yep, put your guesses down below. But I think based on the sizing and the shape of the dust bag, you can pretty much get an idea of what this is because this is an extremely popular bag from Louis Vuitton. Crazy popular. I think this was released back, I believe it was before 2015, maybe 2013. Anyone who's a Louis Vuitton fanatic would know I am not huge on Louis Vuitton. I used to be. It was the first luxury brand that I ever fell in love with. And yeah, I kind of just changed as the years went on because it was 15, more than 15 years ago that I started investing in luxury. So yeah, I think this bag came out maybe around about 2013, could have even been earlier. And I did once own this bag. Actually, I owned this bag twice. I owned it twice, uh, first in 2016, and then I bought another version in 2017 or maybe late 2016. Both of those I did end up selling because I decided to invest in Hermes. And I'm gonna open this up because maybe someone's gonna go, why are you talking instead of just showing us? Rah, rage. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> All right, okay, here we go. Here it is. Inside is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. And like I said, you could have, you would have been able to see by the shape of it. Now this is a genuine unboxing. I have not seen this bag from when I just received it. So I'm going to give it a bit of a look over. There is like some, what is that? It looks like, I'm gonna bring it up close and see if you can see it. Maybe you can't because it's really faint, but it looks like glue residue. It really, it, to me it looks like it's glue residue. Can we see it? Can we see it? Can we? Can ya? I've got to stop focusing on my face. It's just around here. There's like this really faint glue residue. And there's a little bit over here as well. It might be hard to see because of the um, studio lights. But it's like, I'm gonna try and lick my finger and see if I can get it off. I feel like it's glue residue. Because I have seen this before on a um, on my Louis Vuitton Kirigami. Yeah, it is glue residue. I know, these days, I don't know what they're doing, seriously. like. I'm sorry, but I know it, it comes off. Fair enough, it comes off. I wouldn't return a bag because it's got glue residue, of course. You know, as long as it comes off, that's all I care about. But what amazes me is that this is the kind of thing that you would expect from fakes. I have accidentally bought a fake, like, fake items before in the past. And how you tell is it's fake is that it's got, like, glue residue and it's really messy. But this is kind of, I don't know, maybe I'm being fussy, but truly, I... I buy Hermes bags and I don't get glue residue all over my bags. And I bought Dior bags and I don't get glue residue all over them. 
I'm not really that familiar with Chanel, but why is it like this? Because my Kirigami was like this as well. I had to pick off, like I'm doing now, every single little bit of glue residue. If you are familiar with the Pochette Matisse, it has had some quality issues in the past. And um, I'm kind of glad that I had sold the bags that I sold, the Pochette Matisse that I had sold. Um, like I said, the reason that I did sell them was because I wanted to, gosh, there's still some there. I wanted to invest more in Hermes because they're very, very expensive and I couldn't afford to keep them. So I did sell them and um, it's still there. Can you see it now? Even because I licked it, it's gone like, it's smeared worse. I know that that's showing up in the camera now. I'm 100% sure of it. Like, what? I'm gonna have to like pick off every single little bit of glue individually. Shouldn't have to do this. Like it's a, this was $2,620. Why should I have to be picking off glue residue? I was saying while I'm picking this off, Jeez Louise, this has really annoyed me. There's even some residue up here too. Come on camera, focus, focus, focus. It's just here. Like, you can kind of sort of see the whiteness because the camera's just not focusing well for some reason. Um, but yeah, there's still, there's, it's scattered. Oh man, why? Look, it's going to come off. I know it's going to come off. I'm just going to try and ignore it for now until I can... Because I don't want to be sitting here on camera picking off glue residue. But at least you can see that this is a genuine unboxing. And you can see um, that Louis Vuitton still... What I think the issue with Louis Vuitton is that they have... There's so much demand for their products. And they want to meet that demand the best as possible. So they just manufacture their products as quick as possible. They don't... Um, like they're doing it as fast as possible I suppose and maybe their quality control is slipping or they're just letting things through because they know that the demand is there and they'll be like well someone will just take it anyway. Obviously glue residue isn't that big of a deal for me. I can get it off that's the main thing but I shouldn't have to. It's a matter of principle. I shouldn't have to. So the Poche Matisse in the past has had issues with the glazing. Um, so that's the glazing along the edges here. Apparently the glazing has melted, uh, it's had issues with canvas cracking, so I'm kind of glad that I sold my previous ones because they could have been subject to those issues and it would have been annoying to try and get them um, fixed, like go take the bag back and get replacements or get store credits because they never have it in stock anyway. So long story short, I am glad that I sold the ones that I did because I'm hoping that with this one that they've rectified those issues with the cracking canvas and the melting glazing i hope that it's rectified i really truly do because having this glue residue on the front isn't really a good start unfortunately so let's still have a further look at the bag uh, i believe it's aligned properly there seems to be like a crease like an indentation sort of just down here like a pressed in but that should come out anyway um it should just have to stuff it so if i kind of stop looking at my face you camera Hopefully, there it is, see, look, just there, it's got like an indentation. So hopefully with a bit of stuffing that should come out. That actually happened, the same thing happened on my key pouch and the indentation didn't come out, but let's hope it comes out of this because that would be a little bit annoying. Uh, the monogram seems to be aligned just fine. And usually how you check that is you just check along the bottom there. See if it's straight and yeah, it's straight and on the sides, it looks good as well. So let's open it up and have a look and hopefully there's no more surprises. The lock's fine, which is nice. You can still see that glue residue, it's bothering me. Uh, this alignment looks good on the inside of the flap. And here is the strap. I know that you guys are, if you're watching this video, even if you're not a Louis Vuitton fan, I'm sure you're familiar with the Poche Matisse and you know that it is an adjustable strap, which is fantastic. And um, it can be worn on the shoulder, it can also be worn in the hand with the handle, and then it can be worn crossbody as well. We have the black microfiber lining, and this bag is made in France. <laughs> yeah, hopeless. Okay, there it is. They say that, I don't know, people prefer to get made in France. They reckon it's better because that's where it originated from. According to this, it means no, it means nothing because there's glue residue on the flap of my bag. Just checking some other things. I'm just checking the bottom. Seems fine. Like there was like, it's, 
It looks like the way that they have sewn the canvas, maybe they've pinched it too much or something, or it's too loose, but hopefully that comes out. It's also a softer canvas, like it feels quite soft, so maybe that's why it's a bit prone to getting those kind of um, indentations, and let's just hope that we can get them out with some stuffing, because, I mean, you're buying a new bag, you really shouldn't expect there to be flaws. Truly, you shouldn't. Like, people say, oh, no, that wouldn't bother me, that wouldn't bother me. Yeah, that may not bother you, but the principle of the matter is you're paying so much for the product. You're paying for a luxury design house that is supposed to be impeccable quality, and that's how they can justify their prices, is, you know, the brand and the quality, it goes hand in hand. So you really shouldn't have to be compromising and saying, oh, yeah, no, that's okay, I can deal with that. Like, it really shouldn't be the case. And, and the fact to be told is that I may have to deal with certain things. Like if this indentation comes out, I may have to, and it's probably still gonna bother me yeah, that I paid so much for a bag that's not, when, like, I know that they're handmade, but something like that, like, come on, like, that's not that's not someone like missing a stitch or something, I don't know. That's, that's just someone going, okay, I've stuffed up and I'm just gonna sell it anyway. That's just my opinion. My opinion, but let's hope that that comes out. I'm gonna attach the strap so we can get a whole overview of the bag. I put the dust bag in the front there so it was easy to close. I didn't want to put any more pressure, sort of making that part bend. So just put the jump, the blah, 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 can't talk. I put the dust bag in for now. I can't even get the strap on. What's wrong with me? My hands are so cold, it's freezing now. The weather in Australia just got, or Sydney in specific, just got so cold all of a sudden. And the first day of winter is coming up. Um, soon. By the time I publish this video, it'll already be winter, but it's almost here and it's really cold. Well, cold for what we're used to at least. Okay, so that is the strap on the bag and we're just going to check the glazing on the strap. It looks all looks good, which is nice. There's that little notch thing. I've heard that sometimes that's been missing not nice. So yeah, there's that notch to hold the strap in. The reason behind getting this bag, not, I didn't just get it because it's hard to get. Uh, I must admit that does add to the allure of why you want it because it is hard to get. But the reason why I have actually repurchased this bag is because I don't currently have a bag that I feel comfortable to use in the rain. So my bags are all Hermes. I only have Hermes bags and they're all made of uh, leather, like Togo leather, Swift leather, and Clemence. So neither of those leathers are resistant to water. Swift probably has a better resistance to water than Togo and Clemence. Togo and Clemence being a, um, a pebbled leather, if you do get it wet and you don't dry it as fast as possible, it can form a very ugly blister. So rather than take that risk, if I know that it is going to rain, I would rather reach for this, providing that the size will, you know, what it's going to fit, what I need to fit, need to fit, because it is a, um, I mean, I'd say it's a small to medium bag. It would fit the same as my Kelly 25 and my Pico 10 18, but it definitely doesn't fit as much as my Birkin 30. So wherever possible, if it is going to rain, I will be grabbing for this bag because it does have the treated leather. I've also noticed that um, this is actually the second restock of the Pochette Matisse Reverse that they have done online in the past four weeks. So there was actually a restock at the very, it was very early May, and I'm not quite sure how many they got, but there was at least a minimum of three, so there was a restock in early May, and what it was was a back order process. So you make your payment to reserve the bag for you, and it takes up to 14 days for the stock to arrive from, um, from France, I suppose. And um, that's why they create this back order system, is because they know that the stock is anticipated to arrive, and then they fulfill the order. So client services told me that that fulfillment went fine, because I was concerned about this. I was like, okay, I know that it says up to 14 days. I just want to make sure it's going to go through. If there's any problems, please like call me. I want to be kept in the loop. I don't want to miss out. And they said to me, look, the first fulfillment was at the beginning of May and it did go through all fine. Um, your bag should arrive within that 14 day time frame. So I placed this order on the 20th of May and today is now the 30th of May and it has arrived today. So that is uh, 10, 10 days. Yeah, 10 days. <laughs> Available actually on the 20th of May in the morning around about 6 45 a.m. And I know that because my friend who is also um, who also got this bag, I met her from one of our Australia Facebook Lux groups, and she um, I believe secured that one, and then it became available again 
at 11.30 and this is the time that I secured it. I don't know if they had maybe like a couple quantities in each of those listings, like the one in really early in the morning and then the one that was in mid-morning. But yeah, I did secure it at about 11.30 in the morning on the 20, 20th of May. And I think that was a Monday. I kept checking my Louis Vuitton account to see the status and it was saying, um, I think it was saying uh, pending availability, that's right. It kept saying pending availability for many, many days. And it wasn't until the 28th of May when I checked my account again at night time because I was checking it sometimes, you know, midday, sometimes later on in the day. But yeah, I checked the account um, midday and it still said pending availability. And then on night time on the 28th of May, it said in preparation. So it was around about 8 p.m. So then on the 29th of May, that's when it was in, still in preparation, but they were actually preparing to ship the bag. And it was shipped yesterday and has arrived to me today. So it ended up being overnight shipping because I am in um, greater Sydney metropolitan area. So it's quick for DHL to do their delivery. And yes, this is it here. I think I've probably said more than that than what was necessary, but I know that this whole new system, the whole new back order system is new, like I said. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I think it's because I'm hungry. I haven't had lunch. I'm hungry. That's what it is. My brain is fried because it needs food. So yeah, hopefully that's given you some information because this system is fairly new and it does take up to 14 days. In my instance, it took up, it took 10 days to get to my doorstep. It took eight days to arrive in the facility, the Louis Vuitton facility for their stock is in Erskine Park in Sydney. So it took eight days to arrive in there and then it took literally, it was less than less than 48 hours for it to get to my doorstep. So do keep checking your Louis Vuitton account when you do place an order for something that says up to 14 days, like allow up to 14 days, because it sometimes is really quite quick and sometimes it can be a little bit longer. I feel as though, you know, 10 days isn't too bad, especially for this item. I feel, yeah, that's fine. I was happy to make that payment and then to take the payment in advance to make sure I got this bag because even at the boutique, they can't guarantee it. They can't say, oh, we'll take your payment and make sure you get it. Like I have heard of stories where some of the boutiques in Australia do do that, but in Sydney, I had tried that and it doesn't work. So yes, here it is here. I was able to get it online, which is fantastic. I no longer need to go and line up at Louis Vuitton just to ask the same repetitive question that everyone asks about the pochette Matisse. I no longer have to do it. I'm happy with this. I don't foresee myself getting the monogram. However, I had the Empreinte on my wish list, my 2019 wish list. I'm not sure if I'll go with the Empreinte. I think we'll wait and see. I might maybe get one in pink or the new beige, if I can get it for a really good price, maybe I will see how I go enjoying this bag for now. So I'm not in any rush. I kind of feel like I've ticked off my wish list by getting this because this really fits the bill of what I need. A rain bag, a more carefree bag, something I can use when I'm taking my daughter to the park and all those things. So yay, very exciting. Okay, hopefully I have some mod shots to include at the end of this video. If not, please go and check out my Instagram post on Fleek where of course you will see me using this bag. But yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was informative and useful and hopefully I didn't bore the crap out of you. Have a great day. Bye.